Hello, my name is Esther Harbitre. I'm a professor of communication and a sociologist working at the University of Zurich in Switzerland. In 1989, I was growing up in Budapest, Hungary. I remember the foreign minister opening up the border to Austria. This is a little appreciated uh, fact, factoid about the falling of the Berlin Wall is that once the border between Hungary and Austria was no longer there, the Berlin Wall became moot. When I was in middle school, I wanted to go into business. I started learning Japanese. Uh, my parents found the one school in Budapest where I could go for Japanese classes. I wanted to be able to make international connections. Then later, I interned at a newspaper thinking maybe I'd want to be a journalist to be able to tell stories of the world. But after a summer of writing and reporting articles, I realized that I wanted to be able to dig deeper into stories and be able to have a more profound understanding of what explains those stories, what explains what's actually going on in the world. And so that's when I decided to become an academic. My research helps break the wall to digital literacy and to internet skills. Digital literacy is the effective and efficient use of digital media. It has both technological and social components. Well, it is certainly the case that many institutional factors play a role in what we do and what we see online, such as what platforms decide to show us, it is also essential for users to have at their disposal the skills to make the most of their time online. The challenge is that many people think that especially young adults, because they grew up with technologies, are automatically savvy with digital media. But my research and research by others from Switzerland, through Chile, to the United States, across the globe has shown that this is not the case. There are large variations in people's digital literacy and skills, regardless of age. My solution is to offer assistance and support for people to improve their digital literacy and internet skills. An essential finding of this research, again, is that young people are not automatically digitally savvy. It is also important to note that internet skills are often correlated with socioeconomic status. And this means that it's the people who are least privileged who tend to have the lowest level of skill. And so they're the ones who tend to be less least equipped potentially to benefit from their time online and to be at the end, um, at the receiving end of digital harm as well. Domains of skill are multiple. Uh, these include awareness of what is possible online, being able to communicate with others effectively and efficiently, knowing how to evaluate online information, being able to manage and protect one's privacy and security, putting one's own content and voice out there, and also being knowledgeable about algorithms and the role they play in what we see online. It is extremely important that people not be derailed by misinformation and disinformation. And so knowing how to evaluate content that people see is an essential skill. It is also important that we hear diverse voices online. So it is also very important for people to know how to get their own opinion onto the web and various platforms and have people see those. Again, because so many people think that young adults are automatically digitally savvy, we don't put enough resources into offering assistance and support for young adults. So one question is how to convince policymakers, educators, parents, generally everyone that young adults still can benefit from, very much benefit from support 
and assistance when it comes to improving the digital literacy and skills. And then, of course, figuring out the optimal ways of doing this is essential to breaking the wall to digital literacy.